for takeoff. We are cleared for takeoff. Five, four, three, two, one. Time to take flight yeah. in your community and in your life. This is Audio Airstrike. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Audio Airstrike. I'm your host, Everett Hall McNeil. We're back with another episode. And we do have two special guests. Of course, y'all know him very well at this point. This is a reoccurring guest. This is my brother, Paul McNeil. And then we also have another special guest. She is an advocate for mental health. Lily is with us. Very strong advocate for mental health. And you are going to get to know her as time progresses and goes on. She will be a new reoccurring guest on audio airstrike for episodes to come. With that being said, I just want to get into it right here and now. Um, There's been a lot of unrealistic expectations going into this season as the uh, weather starts to get colder and people start to figure out what they want to do with their significant other. Um, To be honest, there was a list that was sent out of a list of (laughs) restaurants that you just can't take somebody out on. Some of those were very reasonable. We're talking about, well, we're talking about the Cheesecake Factories. We are talking about the high level of restaurants. Now, maybe not necessarily one of those situations where it's a high end, but we're talking about Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, the movies, your house. Any fast food chain, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, Red Lobster, a buffet, IHOP, Denny's, the gym, church, Starbucks, coffee dates, ice cream dates. (laughs) You look confused. Family functions, (laughs) movie night, somewhere that requires a long drive. Oh, so y'all just lazy and don't want to go nowhere. (laughs) That's what that is. Y'all just lazy and don't want to go nowhere. Mm -mm. So I'm. that was really my first time reading through the list. And I'm sitting over here thinking to myself like... Why would anybody spend all of this money to go out on one specific date with somebody that they're just getting to know? It's an unrealistic expectation. I'm sorry, but being on a first date is not a timeshare. Being on a first date is not something that is a vacation expense. It shouldn't be. Right. Very correct. What's more important is not Oh, what was the experience like? And how much did you put down? It's, is this person compatible or not? Like, what are your thoughts? You're the okay. you're the newest guest. I just want to get so, your thoughts on it. I, I agree with you, but I'm going to play devil's advocate in the most, uh, let's see, what's the good word for it? And the most, um, rational way. Okay. Um, so, I will say right off the bat that I believe that most of the places on that list are not a problem, should not be on that list. Um, To mention a few, like any sports games, most men are into them. I mean, not all men, right? But, um, and you don't even have to be a man to be into it. Like even women are into it. So that should never be on that category because if you don't like it, that's your prerogative. But to say that that should never be a first date is like, completely ridiculous um cheesecake factory i feel like it's a it's a nice caliber olive garden i love olive garden but that's that's just me um but there are places on there um someone's home is definitely that should not be on the list i think that's almost borderline disrespectful um but what if he's cooking for you it's just too personal if you if you respect the lady and you're just getting to know her um, I think that a public place sure. is sure. Yeah. is the most sensible. It's also it just, it sense. just shows character. So that's that's kind of what I wanted to lead towards when I say I'm going to play devil's advocate. Someone that does a certain type of stuff, like certain a certain type of thing, um, you know, has a certain habit. It, it, it kind of falls into this kind of category, right? And so if you are willing to take a girl to your house, nine times out of 10, you don't plan well. You you might not um, be responsible enough to say, okay, I'm going to look into what she likes, um, you know, detailed enough to be able to plan. Um, it, it just kind of comes with 
uh, another, not load, but description, right? So Mm -hmm. a man that does plan well, right, is going to be prepared. uh, It's going to have certain qualities. So it's like, okay, well, I'm, if you're taking me to your house or you're taking me to, to Chipotle, then you don't have these qualities nine times out of 10. Um, now, if you are planning, let's say, a whole date and besides Chipotle, you know, this is where we're going to start. We're going to just go, go grab some Chipotle because I know that's what you like. And we're, going, we're also going to probably go to catch a movie or a go bowling, something active because I know you like active or something in nature because I know you like nature. Then that's OK. You're putting thought into this first date mm-hmm, and it's mm-hmm. based on what I like. Then you should never cancel Chipotle because this person is trying to cater to you to get to know you at the same time. So, you know, I find that respectful on my end. Paul, what are your thoughts? I agree because for me, I look at it like this. The most important thing we have is time above all else. That's the one thing that people waste the most. And they always talking about, I wish I could get it back. If you're going to invest time in a person and that's what you're doing when you're dating, you're investing time in a person so you can get to know the person because ultimately if things work out, you may be spending a whole lot more time with that person. person. So the restaurant list to me is absurd. The whole list. I mean, (laughs) yeah, I mean, there's some things on there that okay. You're not going to invite a woman to your home on a first date unless unless there's conversations. You know, myself, I cook. I can cook. I like cooking for people. But that's a level. You know, you there's, you know, there's levels to everything. And you to get yeah. me cooking for you, you got to be on a level. That's just honest. So, no, you're not going to get that straight out the gate. But some of the other things, too, is what are the conversations like before the date? What's your vetting system? You know, you hear me say that all the time. What are your conversations like before that first date? Okay, does this woman like expensive things? Is this woman like simple things? Is this woman technically out of my tax bracket? (laughs) <laughs> because Benny mm. Hahn might be on someone's tax bracket where someone else may not be. So the other side to it could be is you may clash yourself out of a date before you even get there with a conversation. So the other side could be you you do need to plan better, but you also plan better for the person you're dating. Right. That's the main thing. That's the important thing, because if you're just kind of, well, I did this with this one, this worked out, so I'm going to do this. Well, then you're not putting any thought into the person you're with. So that's kind of that in a nutshell. I mean, I could go longer, but, you know. I'm going to just say this. Y'all got the gym on there. Here's a couple of things I could tell. Somebody that's lazy don't want to, the work ethic is trash. Whoever made that list, first of all, I mean, you don't think the gym is a, a good potential part just to see if, okay, let's take two, let's take two people that are, they are compatible and the gym is kind of their thing, their outlet. Okay. Why well, that's that, what he said. Why the would conversation. That, yeah. Like, why right. would that make this list? Also, church. If that's what your core beliefs if that's, are. Yeah. And then also, too, you know, the church ladies, they go keep it honest. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, now I'm not going to say you want to throw somebody in the fire and bring them to a family reunion. Yeah. That well, might yeah. be a little That intense. may be worthy to be. <laughs> that may be the only thing that, worthy to that, be on this that, list. That might be a little intense because, you know, not everybody can cut the family mustard when it comes to that. that Depending on that the family. <laughs> right. It could be a problem. And here's the thing. <laughs> In the family, somebody is always going to look at that spouse like you're not good enough to date. Oh, mm-hmm. you already know that. Mm-hmm. Like, That's, who are yeah, you? Like, yeah, we like, check like, you yeah, until yeah, we until, want to know. Yeah. Right. The family is definitely cut through. Like, I don't, I don't believe that you should bring, out of respect to your family, you shouldn't just bring someone 
on the first date. You have not to vet a, them out first. Yeah. yeah, no. Random, that that no. was definitely There's not. Again. There's a couple of places on there, but you made such a valid point. It really boils down to the conversation. What are the conversations being had? What? How are you vetting this person? And, you know, are you getting to know this person, right? Like, are you being, are you, are you trying to get to know this person so that you can create a relationship or are you just trying to spend the time? Like, what are you doing? Right. Or, or they just want food. Or they just want food. They just want right. Food. They just want the free dinner. Because right. they don't want to foot the bill for meals. I mean, right. it's out there. It happens. It's out there. For sure. You know, I mean, I've heard it. Man, Man, I went and spent $150 on a date with this one lady at Blue Dolphin. The food was amazing. But, you know, as the meal went on, everything else kind of fizzled. I was like, because she wasn't there for... <laughs> The conversation with she you, she was there to eat, to eat, eat oh, good that that's night. Terrible. I mean, that's just the reality. But that's that what's happens, out though. But you know what? This is where you you have to go from the conversation, right? Like you said, the vetting system. Yeah, you have to have it. And you know what? Another point that you made that I uh, I. I agree with a thousand percent because you hear men complaining and then you hear women complaining about this one thing, which is the bracket, right? If you know that you can do certain things for yourself and then you go out here and you talk to a man that you can clearly tell does not do the same type of things you do or is not in the same type of en environment, why are you trying to get this man to do these things for you? Like, you're barking up the wrong tree, right? right? Almost, and the same thing for the men. Yeah. And it, this is actually more true for a man because sometimes men will say, oh, you know, I got or I do. Or we, you know, like spit mm -hmm. this game that's like, you know, you can't keep up with this girl. You see this girl and she's high maintenance and, you know, she carries herself a certain way. Then if you can't keep up with that, what are you doing? Disqualify yourself because... <laughs> It just doesn't make any sense. I would say shoot the shot, fellas. <laughs> you, you, might, you, you know, you might get lucky. You, 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 you know, you miss one hundred percent of the shots you don't take. You got, you got to take the shot. It's po it's possible to take the shot and win. But there is a sense of realism that you got to have. Yes. Not right. everybody yes. is equipped yes. to get into a space where they're the regular regular guy that pulls the high maintenance girl and the high maintenance girl understands him because it mm -hmm. creates a duality of balance. Mm -hmm. That is kind of like a rare thing. Yes. <laughs> when it comes to oh boy, when it comes to that, that is an expectation that's actually realistic. The issue is, is that through social media, through uh, hyperbole, through trauma, through all of these different things that haven't been settled, you have people coming up with these ideologies as to what they think is the bar or the standard. I'm sorry. I'm not paying $70, $80 to take you out and you ain't even respecting the dollar amount or me. Yeah, you got a point there. Right. And also on top of that, why are you putting yourself in a situation? And this can go for, I don't care who you are, what you identify as, what your ideologies are. Why would you put yourself in this gold digging, high maintenance rhetoric? What do you mean for the man or for the woman? For, and so whoever made that list to put right. the stuff that I've seen on there. I think the list was not well thought out. I think the list was one of those sitting around the house drinking and it was a, a group of people having a conversation and they put the list out there. I don't really think the general population is rolling with that list. I've talked to a couple people about the list and they're like, man, that's crazy. I like some of them spots. But you know right. what? It, it again goes back to what you said, the bracket. If, if I'm in a middle six figure bracket, that might be a very true statement. You know, if I if I'm if my average is five hundred thousand, you know You don't you don't think cheesecake will do it? I mean, if that's not what I'm used to, let I've always said if I had the money, I'd have a chef cook for me all True. the time. Why True. would I eat processed food? True. No. For, do you think that do you think Beyonce goes to Cheesecake Factory? 
No, Beyonce eat whatever she want. And yeah, Beyonce's yeah, a vegan. Yeah, yeah. That's something. And I'm pretty sure that she has a chef 24 yeah. seven or, um, you know, the food that she's going to eat. This is going to be, mm-hmm. you understand? And unfortunately, the, the, the sad truth is that every place in that list has, you know, foods that are processed, basically. Yeah. So if I am a person that's very health conscious and I'm not saying that this person that made the list is, but I am well off, Mm -hmm. then I'm I'm probably not going to go to any of those places. Yeah, that's true. Does that make sense? So it it makes sense. I mean, perfectly good. No, it makes sense. But if you're just a raggedy person, (laughs) a raggedy person person. (laughs) or, you know, your average Joe, um, then there's no reason like you can't make this the standard so i'm glad that it's really had it has gotten shot down by a lot of group of people i just i just think it's i just think it's unrealistic yeah i mean because unfortunately to be honest there are people out here that like the cheesecake factory and not to keep beating up cheesecake but it's just (laughs) the easier one to pull out of it Mm -hmm. chipotle is kind of like hey man want to go to lunch while you're talking to a co-worker at work yeah and then you kind of go to lunch that's so that's why i wouldn't even put chipotle i don't even call that a restaurant really that's, that's it's like, like that's it's like a step up above fast food. Right. That's yeah. what I was just about to yeah, say. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna call I'm gonna use cheesecake as the example. Yeah. And I like cheesecake. I like cheesecake they got too. Nice I was about ambience. to say. I love cheesecake. I like that. But <laughs> that's why a lot of people go to the ambiance. Yeah, it's the ambiance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you almost look like you're eating in the dark, mm-hmm. but they got the little mood going on. And the on, bar is cool. And the bar is mm-hmm. tight. Yeah. Great drinks. <laughs> but the the tax bracket has a lot to do with it, but to a degree. When you know better, you do better. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, eating at the cheesecake or eating at a regular food chain, Applebee's, not a favorite of mine. I don't like microwave food. I'm not a big fan of processed food. Yeah. I like to see a dude in the back actually making food. Right. Not some dude that was working at this spot, came over to this spot, and now he in there. And that's exactly what it is. Working. (laughs) Yeah. Yep. So that's just my personal preference. But again, sometimes people get into money and they say, well, when you have money, you can do whatever you want. Of course. Mm -hmm. But when you have money, you also can't put a list out like that. And unfortunately, have people on social media thinking that's the norm. Right. That's not the norm. I agree. The average person, Cheesecake Factory is good. Yes. Six figure guy, Cheesecake Factory is good because he knows he can take his significant other to Cheesecake Factory every week, once a month, once every two months. She's going to be happy. He's going to be happy. Everybody's going to have a good time. And it wasn't crazy expensive and broke the bank. And he still was able to fly her down to Puerto Rico for the weekend. So it's one of those things where the mindset definitely shifts and changes. And I don't like to make money a thing because some got it, some don't, but you still have to date in this crazy world. And you still have to do, like I said earlier, you got to look at your vetting system. You got to look at what is it you're trying to accomplish? Are you really trying to get to know the person or are you just trying to feed a person? You know, because <laughs> if you're just try, if you're just here for food, yeah. I'm not your guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to deal with a person that just wants to hang out so they can get a meal off me. That's crazy. I don't mean no harm, but some people are for the food and other stuff that comes along with that later. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. This I'm just keeping a bucket here. But, 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 but this is true. Yeah. But again, what's your vetting system? Right. What are your conversations like prior to getting there? How often are you talking to this person? Is this person somebody you talk to once a week, twice a week? I talk to them every day. They, I talk to them on the way home, these things all play a factor because, again, remember, mm-hmm. the most important thing we have is time. Mm-hmm. All these things are time. I can spend my time on anything I want, but I'm choosing to spend it with you. Mm-hmm. So that in itself should supersede where we was eating that day. Because I'll tell you one thing I personally like. I like food trucks. You get some phenomenal food off a of food truck. And non-processed food, too. I love right? food truck food. It's fresh. It's amazing. They make it right there. Like you can see what's I can going see on. Who making my food. You eat it before. Like it's grill and then you. Yes. <laughs> There's no middleman. Yes. There's no shady looking right. waiter bringing right. this. Right. 
And it's fresh. You Some know it's the fresh. Best food, there ain't no freezer sure. on no food truck. Right. Yeah. Again, mm-hmm. a good food, hey, look, a good food truck date sitting on the mall in DC on a nice spring day, that's a win. And mm-hmm. I I I'm under 50 bucks. Mm. See? So again, my time. It's not my money. It's, it's my your time. time, right? So it, it's it goes beyond the food truck, yep. and in, and you shouldn't be thinking. Well, that's a lie because if you budget right, then mm-hmm, you're thinking, okay, mm-hmm. well, this is what I got to spend. But um, I, let me let you finish with your piece. No, that's Are fine. You, that's your no, that's fine. Okay. I'm good over here. Um, I think that in general, for me, you want to definitely know who you're going to go on this first date with. It can't be just like, oh, I'm just going to go out for food. I mean, what's your purpose? So you got to decide that for yourself first, Mm -hmm. right? What is your purpose? You're just trying to have fun or are you really trying to get to know somebody, which is, that should be the purpose. You're trying to get to know somebody and this person is, you're ready to go on a date, then you have to know a few things about these persons. Oh, you know, the vetting system, like you said, and then make sure that you're dating with, I mean, for me, I think it's important. You have to date within your tax bracket because then you're considerate of the other person's life, you know, because you, sure. you, you know, the struggles, I mean, more or less, you know, a couple dollars don't make a difference, but if you're within the same then, and you care about this person, then you're not going to think, oh, you better spend X amount, right? Like if we're both in make in the millions then I know you're not going to take me to Chipotle if I don't like it. Now, if I like it and you know me, then you're going to take me there because I like it and you care. And I'm not going to care. Right. It's because not a thing anymore. It's not a thing anymore. Right. So if you're just being interest, it, it, a gold digger, <laughs> then that's when you really care. They go both ways. They, yeah, they, 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 for they sure. Nowadays. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, that's a double stand. It's not just a yep. lady thing anymore. There are guys out here that's, that's definitely doing some mining. <laughs> they out there. You got twenty year olds looking for an insurance policy dating a cougar. Hey, what are you talking about, man? That's how you get a co-signer for a Hellcat. So common. I, I seen it the mm. other day. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, like, write me, that, write me in this trust right here. Right, this right here. He's like, is, is that your mom? Is that your girlfriend? It's oh like, my God. I don't know what I'm looking at here. That's crazy. But you can't judge now. They don't. Don't even start that. You know, everybody gotta be happy. That's a whole other conversation. Yeah, that's a whole other. That's a whole other topic. But I've seen it though. Like yes. I've seen it. Um, there's so many couples that come, especially on social media, right? That right. come out. Um, younger woman, significantly younger. You know, maybe 30s with a 70 year old man. Or that's 80. normal though. That's been that's been going on for ages. I mean, that's when it's it, still it, gold day, you know. It, 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 this is true. But when it's flipped, then you go. I'm confused. Oh, I, I mean, the normal way. at what I mean, it's age? the same thing, but I mean, you've always seen over the years, at least I've seen, older guys with younger women. But significantly older? I, mean, I don't mean like 10, 20 years. 10, 20 years is very common. More than I knew till more recently. Like, you know, I don't want to stray away from the conversation. No, now, no, no. We so. definitely get that because here's the, th- here's the thing. And I get what he's saying. Nine mm-hmm. times out of ten, you're going to see a woman who is significantly younger dating an older man. Mm-hmm. But when that is flipped, for some reason, it's like, it is like, you're just sitting there going, well, good grief. This is, like, wow. he, he, wait a minute. She's going out with him. Yeah, it's confusing. It's confusing because like nobody expects a 20 something year old man to date somebody that older. Unless we and us guys are sitting in the room thinking, unless there's a motive. Okay, looking at that list. Okay, you probably got Chick Fil A for free, Cheesecake Factory for free. Somewhere along the lines, something is going down. You, you just ended we the need, win. You we ended need an win. explanation. Yeah, are you yeah, going yeah, after right. the insurance policy? Is, is there a trust involved? <laughs> right. Are I you in? Questions. Are you in a house well, with some allowance? Like what is going on? <laughs> you get rent paid. Right. Yeah. yeah. Is well, she for your school? again. Right. You never know. There's people that like different type of things. So I I used to wonder before. Like I knew someone that was. That look good, a young man that looked very, you know, he well maintained, tall, you know, the stereotypical man that women like, six feet, nice eyes, everything. Looks like a jock. Yeah. Why are you saying And like he that? liked 
Because <laughs> usually that's what that's, it is. I mean, that's, I know, usually special. that's what He's it not is. not lying. I know, I, and we're talking based on stereotypes, right? right that right, doesn't right. have to be true. But his preference of women were short, fat women, like bigger, obese women. And to me, it was that's like, was. you could really have damn near any girl out here. And the, I mean, if that's your preference, amen. But it, to me, it was confusing at first. And then, you know, as you get older, you you start seeing people that, you know, they have their preference. You'd be like, how does that work? How does that work? You know, but people have their preferences. So, of course, there's going to be an audience for older women. Right? Yeah. I mean, I could I could definitely see it. I, I, it doesn't always have to be about the money. It can be a True, genuine love. See, you a rarity yeah, that see, believes that. Yeah, see. I do. We know we we you and you also in a very healthy, loving relationship that we have seen. So that's kudos to yeah. her man. So uh that's one of those things where, you know, that's we appreciate that. There's other folks <laughs> that are not yeah. on that type of time it's yeah. i'm in it for me i want this i'm gonna say all the right things and then when my time strikes i'm gonna get what i want right i don't agree with it at all obviously if you listen to this podcast long enough i do have my certain level of outlook on that type of behavior but it's just a lot of this boils down to communication and knowing the person as we've reiterated before and at the end of the day, like, you don't necessarily have to be in the same tax bracket. You normally don't. But if you guys are not, you definitely need to have a conversation. Okay, what's your outlook about finances? What's yes. your outlook is about life? Yes. What is your outlook about health? What is your outlook about uh, mental health, spirituality, mm. all of these things? Mm-hmm. Those questions need to be asked because... Some of y'all just date for Before date the first sake. Date. They, yes. date, they date in a date. They date in a date. And it's so, and here's the thing, and I'm going to take it mm-hmm. there. Some of y'all date for how somebody looks outwardly instead of inwardly. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's facts. You look at this person, you go, okay, he looks good on my arm. He or she looks good on my arm. <laughs> this could work. No, <laughs> nothing has been said about is this person compatible? What's his criminal, his What's or her his criminal record look like? What's his credit, credit score? score? <laughs> right. Upbringing. Lord. Right. How's the family? What's your sexual All of preference? <laughs> right. Listen, nowadays, nowadays. That's a thing. Yeah, nowadays. Yeah, these you days. Ask. That's a big one. Yeah, you better ask. Make sure you ask. Yeah, you better ask. Questions. Don't yeah. assume. Yeah, no, I have questions. You say I have questions. The way. Okay. And also, yeah, you definitely can't assume. Yeah. Because I, I didn't see dudes. Where it's like, okay, you definitely back for the other team. Yo, they be pulling all the chicks. I'm like, yo, I had no idea. I had no idea. I had no idea. Well, it's a safe space. Yeah. It's a safe space for the ladies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They don't want nothing from them. It's a safe space. That's how that works. No. That's just how it works. Wait, what? Wait, what? He was saying the the, the, <laughs> the, the, the yeah, I don't even know. I was talking work. about the dudes that you think are like flamboyant and batting for the other team, but the yeah. whole time they are literally straight as I don't know what yeah. and they pulling all the yeah. chicks. They 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 got they found a niche. It's they a found niche. a niche. It's, it's, well it's that's a, it's but that's angle. what I'm saying. Those it's are an angle. wait, but are these like you mean like bi, bisexual men? No, I'm talking about straight no, men, true. just straight men. I'm not because I'm that's about, the problem. I'm talking about the straight dudes that look like they could Yeah, but those um, aren't those those aren't a problem, I don't feel. I feel like the bigger problem are the the bi guys. That's a problem. Yes, because you're here dipping on both ends and you don't like nine times out of ten, nothing is said to the woman because of fear of rejection. Mm-hmm. Now I applaud the see, man see, that I've can never, say I've it. I've never looked at it from that perspective because for me I don't. Oh I man. I wouldn't look at it like that. Man. I only see it. You straight. imagine, um, there was there was this controversial um post um Regarding uh, this lady that cut off uh, this this man, she, well, not this man, her husband. This lady, they were about to get married. They were together for like three years or four years, maybe more. Um, and then he told her that he experimented with a man way back when, like years before. Was this and a she immediately continuing thing? No. It was, it was a one-time a, thing, according to him. I tried it out, didn't like it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know I know how that, that works, he explained. <laughs> okay, so he had an appetizer. But that's it. Wow. 
I mean, <laughs> to me, Listen, I, I don't understand that. It's not like you woke up one day and you just kind of sitting there looking That's at some I'm dude saying. and going, you know what? I think I want to try that. I mean, I go in the restaurant sometimes. How's, you know, how's the, the Stop. Look, how's look, the, look, food? Look, the brother went and got hors d'oeuvres. I don't understand. Look. No. Yeah, I don't understand that. Let it, me tell you what mind, it is. My mind don't, I can't. No judgment here, but no. they right. wouldn't try to taste test. You wouldn't wow. have hors d'oeuvres. No. Huh? That's what it was. That's what, that's what, that's what, look, this is, this is that moment. Yeah. Wow. No. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I Listen, I believe that you most definitely have to tell a person, even women. I mean, you know, most guys don't mind because ha ha ha. But as a woman, I want to know. And it's going to make a difference for me. I mean, but you have to respect that, you know? And so I completely, I we could have been together for X amount of time. I need to know. I need to know. And then you need to leave that decision to I think, me. I think if that came down to it, I don't even know a man in his, in his right mind that would ever tell a woman that that was something he dabbled in. You think you should have kept it. That's one you of those. You should have taken that one like, to the yeah, grave. Yeah, like, yeah, bro. You, this is just going to be no. me. I'm not saying nothing to nobody. No. Don't let the family find out. Because they're going to constantly. What? <laughs> family they going that's it. Out. You're roasted for life. Right. 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 Talking about, oh, I tried it out. No, what? no, no, no. That's not, a, that's not a drink at the bar. Oh, I didn't like that. Sorry. Spit it out. Look, if you I don't think it, it goes like that. And no. that family function be packed up so fast. No, but look, no. no don't judge it. If that's what you no, want to no, no, do. I'm not judging it. Amen. I mean, it, it, that's your thing. But it, you fine. should let the but, person know is all I'm saying. Right. That's you know, what we mean. We like if we've okay, if that was found out and you're with this person, okay, now it's kind of like the reason why the jokes would get off is because it's like there's a high probability that if something goes down in fidelity wise, that you may have more exactly. to worry oh about. Oh my, okay. no, it's not that you may. You have, you have more to worry about. To worry about. Of about chicks, you gotta oh worry about God. dudes too. Right. Oh my God. God yep. forbid. You know, Lord. this is not a, a Lay's potato chip type situation. You didn't go just one. You went mm-hmm. another route too. Right. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's true. Well, so I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 nuts out here. Well, this has been another edition of Audio Airstrike. Tune in every week for those of you who follow us. Uh, make sure you check us out on TikTok, and also make sure you check us out on YouTube as well. And also, soon enough in 2024, we will be introducing our own patreon so you will get exclusive content on there as well so be on the look for that and we'll have more information until next time everybody y'all take care and don't look at that list see ya (laughs)